What's up guys, welcome back to Empyrean, and in today's episode I'm thinking we're going to build ourselves a proper power grid, because this one here that we've been using since the start of this is awful, and it keeps turning off the power, so we're going to go ahead and uh, start doing that. That way we're not running out of power while we're away. I wouldn't mind doing some solar stuff, but I never could get the solar stuff to work right. Like It, ne it would never charge the capacitors or anything. It would sometimes turn on. Three, so right there. Two that way. Plus X three. And then, anyway, I could get the I couldn't ever get the uh, capacitors to actually uh, work. So, eh, oh well. We'll just have to stick to Promethium. One, two, three, four, five. Six and seven. So I want all these to be somewhat similar in their uh, design. Three, four, five, six, and seven. I see I'm going to have to get the drill. Do I have my drill on me? I do. Let's get rid of that drill because I, I think I got a tier two in here. So you can have this one. Take those and here too. There we go. So basically what ended up happening with the um, with that spaceport is I went in there and died about 20 times before finally managing to kill all those people since the, the uh, since the spawner or whatever or since the core had been destroyed I didn't have to worry about them respawning but it took me probably an hour just to kill all those guys because my armor was broken. It was, it was a mess. It really was. Sparrow. All right, that should clear that up, I think. If we have time, if, if we finish this up fairly quickly, I think I'm going to go and up into orbit with the Sparrow just temporarily to see if we can find that trading station that we heard a, a little bit about. Alright, so we'll... There we go. Now, I'm not going to actually fill these pillars in just yet because I got a couple of those tier 2 generators. And I want to see how big they are before actually putting them down. Tier 1. Okay, I guess I only have one of the tier 2. I thought I had... Oh, wait. there. Yeah, there is another one. Right there. Wait. The crap? Where'd my... Where'd the other one go? I did put a generator in the slot, didn't I? What the crap? It's gone. Okay. Yeah, let's go keep going after those drones because they give us uh, they give us the uh, flux coils every once in a while, and I really need those. Dude, that freaking generator just disappeared out of my inventory. I'm not even picking up the minigun bullets anymore. I, I, I'm just not going to use it. it. It kicks too hard. If I wanted a gun that could do that, I would just sit there and, uh... Is there only two drones? I just sworn I saw a third one over here. I think it was just those two. Oh well, it doesn't really matter. Anyway, uh, what I was saying was kind of stupid that thing disappeared like that. Would have been much nicer to have two of these. Oh, dude, this thing's huge. Dude, 
Dude, that thing is gigantic. We're gonna have to bring it out another level just to put a wall in. Just to keep it on the odd side of things. Ah, I forgot about that. Alright, so now that we have that, we're gonna have to build a uh, bunch of fuel tanks to kind of help out with the uh, load. Because uh, the biggest problem isn't necessarily running out of power, or having too much power, it's running out of fuel. But this one generator alone should actually be able to make me get rid of these entire redesign this entire area over here what I'd like to do is actually have a constructor room and then a furnace room when I get the furnace built I think I don't think I can actually build the furnace still with the six um, what did I need a fuel tank can I get the uh, tier 3 yet? 104 points. Let's see here. Large generator. Tier 2. Team. Where'd the fuel tanks go? Oh, there they are. Before we buy that, let's take a look at this because we definitely need some of these. Alright, let's go ahead and start opening up capital vessel stuff. 11 points. RCS we need. Thrusters for sure. Projectile turrets. We're going to need some defenses. A boarding ramp. Dude. We're getting that just because it looks cool. Alright, about 14 points. What can we do here? Anything for just 14? I like to get rid of all my points if I can. So you guys can see I have unlocked a, pretty much all of this stuff here. I also did go into my settings finally and turn down a whole bunch of stuff. Like shadows were set to high, which is something I don't normally have set to high. Uh, so two. Let's go ahead and get the port orderable work lights. I think I saw something for 12 at least. I'm wishing we could get these unlocked. I got one I, that I looted. Um, I think this is pretty much maxed out except for some of the weapons. 13 points, 12. Offline protection? Seriously? Unlock that. Because I know I'll need that. 17 for a repair bay. Base. Anything on the weapons side? Sniper rifle, 7 points. Ooh, I can actually unlock this tier 2 now. Huh. Didn't even realize that. Alright, so we need the fuel tanks. Now we can have ourselves the larger ones. You know what? We might need the advanced constructor for that. Alright. I think four of those should be okay. Alright, so while those are building, let's start filling in our uh, generator here. Dude, I love the new model. I really do. That's pretty cool. Alright. I 
think what I'll end up doing is actually leaving a cargo box in this particular room just for a uh, full of Prometheum and crap so that we can at least have some nearby. I mean, if you think about it, that's kind of a waste of time because you can just do all that through the, the control panel, but it'd be kind of nice. Dude, this generator is cool looking. They did a good job with that one. I wish that, I kind of wish they would do a lo uh, little bit more on the remodeling side because some of these uh, items, like the generators just don't look that good. You know, in terms of in terms of just here we go. Making a uh, it, they kind of look basic kind of bland they kind of look old I, I don't know how else to look at it you know or s how else to say it that's just kind of how it looks all right so now we have that let's see here okay I guess those are done well, they could have okay there we go Go ahead and get one more just to be uh, on the safe side. I wonder how much that <laughs> GEs, th those four just put everything we had at 4%. So we know that we're, we're doing good on fuel. We're doing good on fuel if, uh, if it's at 4% probably have to use the large Prometheum packs for these. Okay. Raised it to 30%. 31, so... I just want to make sure this thing, because I, if you go look in our fridge over here, or my fridge over here, this stuff spoiled because the power went out. So I don't I want I want that to kind of stop. All right. Put this down right there. And let's go ahead and get a door. anything bigger than that. Alright, so we need a door. Do we have any... Did I make any of that carbon substrate for the base? Or carbon composite, I mean. Uh, I don't guess we did. Let's, um, I'm gonna make some ramps so that we don't have to keep using our jetpack because that gets kind of annoying. So we don't have to use our jetpack. Immediately use this jetpack. Alright, that's good. So if we look at this over here, we I actually made it pretty big. Now, what I'm thinking this does is I think it only increases the amount of volume you can have in it. I don't think it actually gives you more spaces. I thought it would just open up more spaces for you as well, but it doesn't appear that's how that works. It appears that it only gives you more volume, which isn't bad. I could throw all of my good stuff, all my uh, building blocks and stuff in here, but I was kind of hoping that it would expand the amount of spaces you had to put things in. So we got our power room done. Did I I did put that final deal in there, right? Yeah, okay, did I grab the door? No, I didn't. Let's grab that door. Where did it go? There it is. There we go. 
That looks pretty good. And now if we look at our statistics here, max output is 503 MPU. I'm not sure what the MPU is, because it used, didn't it used to say, like, amps or something? I don't know. Kilowatts or something? I don't know. Okay, let's see here. Alright, so as you can see, I did switch out my heavy armor for another set. That's what I was wearing. So, put all my modifiers back onto the same one, so. Alright, so now that we got that out of the way, let's put this stuff in here. And all right, so let's take our ship and we'll go up into orbit for a minute because I want to see if we can find that. I want to see if we can find that. Um, what was it? So I think for this we actually have to go up into uh, space, so we're going to go up here and see if we can find that station. One of the things I wish that the uh, detectors would, uh, is that the detectors would work in space, they, they don't though, so. I mean it kind of makes sense, but at the same time it'd be nice if you could find like deposits with the detector and stuff because it's just extremely difficult. Wow, are we actually in space already? Dude, they changed that. Holy crap. Dude, it used to have like a lot of stutter and stuff whenever you try to do that. Holy crap. Alright, so the only thing it shows is... Not showing any kind of structure. I guess we just fly around for a little bit. There is a command to... Um, find stuff in space but and honestly they need to have some kind of detection system in space because it is just such a hard thing to find anything in space it's just it's just a pain so or i mean it doesn't even give us a waypoint marker for it so we can get cobalt up here Do we even bother going to the moon right now? Maybe I should look. Maybe I should just go ahead and look up the, uh, the command for the. Let's go ahead. I'm just going to look it up because Let's see here. The biggest thing is is that space is just one of the, like I don't want to do it on planets because that that's kind of stupid, but on uh, in space where you can't actually see anything, you know, I mean, it's kind of ridiculous that you can't actually use a detector in space because it's just. Here we go. Dude, I'm actually getting cold in my vessel? What the crap? Okay, so it says just... See, okay, so this is the thing. We got destroyed vessels, a derelict, some kind of orbital trading station, Polaris carrier. So this trading station is where it's supposed to be going, I think. nine kilometers away well, the only 
reason I'd be cold is maybe if those ramps aren't shut. Statistics devices. It's not like I can actually deactivate them. I might actually switch them out for shutter doors just because uh, the shutter doors at least get the little force fields, but the ramps apparently don't. Hypothermia now. What the crap? It's gotta be the ramps because the uh, because they don't have the little force fields. Originally, I was gonna go with the shutter doors, but I thought the ramps looked better. Guess you can't always go on looks, can you? It's actually killing me. See that? 473. Uh, we'll be at this trading station pretty soon, so we should be okay. Dang, it won't stop. Approach the station. Am I close enough to approaching the station? Is that the... Uh, must be the hangar so to speak now I can't actually dock this thing so <sighs> all right so here we go what do we have in here <sighs> uh, a couple aliens. Repairs, armor, and weapons. So they got a free repair station. Uh, do I even have my helmet on? It's on. Okay. So this is. Ooh, there's a teleporter. Teleporter not active. Well, I'm at the trading station, so. Am I missing something? Watch this have nothing in it whatsoever. That's just some just where my I came in, so I need to come this way then. Alright, so we have a couple of cargo crates. Trader two. Gold. Insulation boost. Might actually go with that. Neodymium. Magnesium. I wouldn't mind taking some magnesium. If I could buy it, but can't, so. So I approached the station, and there's nothing here. That's sort of disappointing. So we got ourselves a POI there. What is this? So my thinking is they probably don't have the uh, this PDA stuff fixed yet. Find the bar. So. doesn't show it anywhere though but maybe the only thing I can think of is either it's not finished or they're talking about this the Psy Station Tostra Psy Station that's the only thing that I can think of maybe You know what, I think we'll just go back to uh, the planet and Maztec or whatever it's called. I think we'll just go back there and <clears throat> so 
fun to just destroy that. <laughs> but I can't. Because I'm on Polaris' side right now. Alright, so I think what we'll do is we'll just go back to the planet for now. Um, might have to... We're going to have to work towards a... We're going to have to work towards a... Advanced Constructor. So what I'm thinking is I'll go back to the planet... And I'll start working on getting ready for a, um, getting a capital vessel ready. And I think we're going to have to go and take our miner and our sparrow to the, there's that infamous lag. Okay, so they have done some seriously different things with that. Anyway, uh, we'll take our sparrow and our miner to that moon and see if we can find any sathium deposits. I'm pretty sure that the moons have sathium on them. And if they do, then we'll, uh, we'll go there next. Anyway, guys, that's going to do it for this episode. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Be sure to like and subscribe if you haven't already. I'll see you guys next time.